Okay, today I'm going to show everyone on how to set up a analog CCTV system. First on, there is this plug. This plug is for the DVR. Normally for a DVR, it will be 12 volt 2 ampere or 12 volt 3 ampere or above. Yeah. As for camera plug, usually yeah. it will be in voltage of uh, 12 volt 1 ampere for the dome camera uh, and the bullet camera as well. Uh, while for PTZ camera, it will require 12 volt 3 ampere or above. Yeah. So for this is the dome, and we are providing the 12 volt 1 ampere today. This is the uh, the dome camera. This is the radio connector and the power connector jack. So this uh, this is a premium connector jack. And uh, yeah, so yeah. this is the DVR recorder. This model we are featuring today is iRoyal iRoyal 6704N recorder. This is the USB mouse that is provided with the unit and the power adapter with the unit. So for this, it's actually a 15 meter uh, BNC plus DC cable. Uh, why I call it BNC plus DC is because it has both radio and power. Re uh, radio is the BNC cable. The red color this one, which has the head protruder out. This one is actually the DC power cable. Yeah. So how to get this set up? First of all, we have this uh, with turn this DVR around there are, there are a number of ports at here uh, this is the radio in port and this, uh, this DVR that we are featuring now is actually a 4 channel radio recorder so there will be 1 channel 1 uh, radio in 1 radio in 2 radio in 3 and radio in 4 then for this jack itself, it's the audio out, audio out jack. Then as for this jack itself, it's a audio in. There's an audio in one, two, three, four. So right now, uh, this this uh, this radio recorder also comes with VGA port and HDMI port for the radio output. It means that uh, it can be connected to either a TV or a monitor. This one is a LAN cable jack. It is for connection to the Wi-Fi router, so that you can watch this. Uh, you can access this recorder remotely, either for live remote live view or remote playback. As for here, there are two jacks at here. These two are actually USB ports. Yeah. So typically, one will be used for the USB mouse that is provided which we can connect it here and the other jack here you can you can connect it with a USB thumb drive if you want to ever need to retrieve data from this recorder in a faster way and as well uh, for here this is the RS485 port which I will be featuring in the uh, in my next series of video as for here, this one is the DC 12 volt in for the DVR power. So let's start off by connecting this uh, this ad power adapter to the DC 12 volt jack, and then we get it power on, uh, plug into the multi-purpose plug, get it power on. For here. There, uh, for for here, this part is the starting of the 15 meter wire. So uh, the radio, radio in, this one, uh, radio in, this part will go to radio in one, hot one. So you push in and you twist and turn until it locks. So it should be secure now. 
and then there is this jack, this free mu jack is for you to connect this mu jack adapter of this power uh, this mu mu jack from this power adapter 12 volt 1A this one is for supplying to the camera power so you can connect to this, uh, this uh, DC cable here and then connect to the power jack as for here this is the uh, radio in and then this one is the mu power jack so how do we connect this camera dome so now we do this we connect the power jack the mu to the premium the protruded one to this and then uh, right now for this BNC this one is BNC mu this one is a BNC free mu so this mu will plug into the free mu jack twist and turn and it's locked secure as for monitor you can actually connect it to a HDMI monitor of your choice using either the VGA cable or the HDMI cable so now I have the HDMI cable I will plug it in Cloud log in. I have not. I can just click on the first time that you start. You uh.
Okay, the first time that you start, you uh, you turn on the recorder, you will reach to this screen. Welcome to the configuration wizard. It will help you to configure the device. To continue, click next. So if let's say you you not sure where to find this wizard, you can press uh, you can right click and press on guide GUIDE. So now we go next, and then here is asking for a login. If you have not set a password, you can leave this blank. So we press on the OK. Right now, uh, depending on where you are at, you can set whether you want year year, month month day day, or day day month month year year, or month month day day year year. So for me, I will set day day month month year year. And then time format depend you want 12 hours or 24 hours. I will leave it at 24 hours. So language you can set from here. So I will just leave it as English and then I press on next. And then here is saying the network test. If you need remote viewing, you will require to have one LAN cable connected to this recorder. It's the LAN cable. This LAN cable has to be the other end of this LAN cable has to plug in directly to a to a router, internet router. So just plug it in until you hear the click sound. Okay. And then now there's light at the behind of the recorder. A green and a orange light. Now on our DVR screen, we press on the retry button and then it's still showing error. So we have to check our settings for the uh, the setting for the recorder to connect to the internet. So we go to network. And then we go to DHCP enable and then we press on the OK key right now just wait for a while now we click on retry still saying get gateway test field it may take a while to retrieve the IP address so we press again retry so right now once the recorder is able to connect to the internet it will display test gateway OK test network OK Test, DD, uh, test DNS OK. Your devices have connected to the network properly. So now we go to next. And then here there are three QR codes here. One is for the iPhone. One is for the Android app. And then the other one is the serial number. Serial node. So right now we have to download an app on the mobile phone. You could download the apps call uh, from the Play Store. So now we click in the Play Store. Or if you are having a iPhone, you go to the App Store. So right now we go to search for the app. X M E Y E. The icon should look like this. and then uh, you have to install once you are done you can open the app okay so uh, once you open the app it will show like this this one is the login screen you can either register an account so you have a cloud account for the XMI or you can click on the bottom left hand corner which is the local local login this small icon in highlight uh, in orange color yeah so for me I have registered for an account I can press on cloud login if I have not I can just click on this uh, this is the local login so I can just click on it and then now it says click plus to add devices watch the world together so we press on the plus and then here we make sure it's selected as manual app 
manual aids for editing of DVR recorder. So right now, device name you can key in living room, uh, home, or office. So I will just keep it as home, and then for here as for the serial number, just tap here, and then you tap on the QR code icon. Once you click on this, position your handphone towards the screen, and then take uh, position towards the serial number, which is the one on the far right corner. Yeah. So once it's done, you should be able to get the serial number that looks like this. And then if you have a password for your recorder, you can enter it here. If like just now, I never set a password for my recorder, I can just press OK. And then we automatically add, and then we can tap in. And then we can watch on the mobile phone, the live view or the camera. Yeah. You can uh okay. This is for the mobile phone app. Okay, right now, come back to this screen. We uh once we are done adding to the mobile phone, we click on next, and then here it's saying thank you for choosing our product. Yeah. So just press on the okay, and you are ready to use the recorder. So here there are four screens uh, because this is for a four channel DVR recorder can allow you to connect to four cameras so uh, using the mouse you can actually uh, double click in to see the full view of the, the selected channel you can double click to go up and then uh, for this mouse if you right click you will see that there are main menu, guide, record mode, playback, PTZ control, FBI control, all this, and as well as view 1 from cam 1 to cam 4, you can choose which specific cam to look at. You can also choose view 4. View 4 means a general screen like this. Right now it's view 4 screen. So right, uh, right, right now I'm going to teach you how to do the record configuration. So you can actually right click the mouse and then you will left click on the main menu word and then right now it part of the color menu here so right now there's uh, there are different tabs at the bottom right now so uh, by default it will start within the system system tab so for me I need to configure for the record settings so I go to record record here I can choose to re play back records or I can do record config so we can press on the record config and then for here you can select which channel that you want to set specific uh, recording schedule there are different types of recording uh, regular recording it means that uh, throughout this timing to this timing is doing full recording where you can also choose detect recording detect recording or the um, that means the motion detection recording yeah so uh, by default these are all selected that means uh, it will automatically start recording as long as here the mode shown is go by the schedule the schedule that you have selected here yeah? 00 to 24 zero, zero, that means 24 hour recording regular and motion detect and alarm but for the alarm we are not introducing right now as this uh, this recorder does not uh, does not have the alarm input feature so you can just leave it on however yeah okay for the length here is showing at 60 minutes that means each file that the recorder records will be in 60 minutes length you can set different recording schedule let's say you want to set uh, you want to set 00 uh, sorry you want to set uh, the 
That means you want to set the first recording schedule for the day. Zero eight zero zero. Assuming your your office start at eight thirty, I will recommend for you to start recording at eight a.m. Because some people may may come uh, may come in the earlier hours, and then uh, what time you end work? Maybe you can set at uh, eighteen eighteen uh, eighteen thirty. If your office end at maybe five thirty or so for regular recording, regular must motion detect. That means it records regular plus it also motion detect. So this will be full recording during this hour, zero eight zero zero to eighteen thirty. Uh, with motion detect, that means later on when you play back, you should be able to see that. Uh, during the full recording, if some things move. Uh, it will show a red color line. So for here period two, uh, we will want to set the timing that, uh, the timing that we don't want re regular recording. So we can set the eighteen thirty to uh to the next uh to twenty four uh twenty four zero zero. Regular recording, uh, sorry, motion detection recording, and then from twenty four zero zero, uh, sorry, twen uh, after twenty four zero zero is zero zero zero, to, uh, the uh, zero, sorry, zero eight, uh, sorry, uh, yes. Yeah. To zero eight zero zero, I set for motion detect. So for this record, uh, the recording I schedule that I set is that is like from uh the period one is zero eight zero zero to eighteen to eighteen thirty is regular plus motion detect. Then from eighteen thirty to twenty four hours is just motion detect. That means anything move then you will record. And then from here. Zero zero to zero eight zero zero. I also record based on motion. Yeah, okay. unless I have another schedule to add, I can add into period four. But right now I just keep at this and then press on the OK. Okay. Now here we also have the backup button and the playback button. So I show you the playback button. So for here you can organize it by the calendar. Which month you want to play back? Which day? Just click on it, and then you can uh, choose which uh, which channel to actually show. You can also choose all. Then you choose on the search. It will show all the bar. You can press on the sync mode. Sync mode, uh, because right now if you is showing as twenty four hour for cam one to cam four. If you want to see a specific hour, like example seventeen thirty, but you see the nineteen, uh, nineteen and twenty is too near. You want to choose a specific time. You can use the mouse scroll button, the mouse center scroll button to actually scroll in, and then you see it's showing like eighteen fifty five to. 1920 around here so in between you see it's spread into five minutes five minutes five minutes is easier and more convenient for you to choose which which uh which timing you want to view at but small specific so you can choose here yeah then you notice if you if you choose different timing the other channels doesn't follow so for if this if you want to play back all channels at the same timing, you can press on sync mode. It means you stop first, then you press on sync mode, and then you go back to here, zoom in, and then you play. The other channel will also play back at the same time.
this is channel 1 7, uh, 1910 and then this one is all channel 2 1910 and so on yeah uh, instead of using this timeline you can also use a file list which uh, this icon at the right side here is actually the file list file list you can choose by which timing you want R actually shows as regular recording M actually shows at as the motion detection recording and just now uh, our schedule is only showing the, uh, is, uh, for this hour is only regular recording so that's why it's only showing R instead of M also to go back to to go back to normal live view screen you can right click and, and left click on the up window and then you can left right click again and then you go to the main screen this one is the live view screen and then how now, now how do we extract the uh, the video to a computer to play we right click then we go to the playback you can see which file you want to you want to retrieve let's say for example okay just give me a minute loading up let's say I want this timing 1907.45 so uh, how do I extract this video so I right click I go to up window I go to main menu go to record and then I go to back out here I must insert a thumb drive into the system
Alright, now I'm going to show you all on how to back up the video using the thumb drive. Let's just use the regular thumb drive. Uh, the regular thumb drive formatted as FAT32 is a universal format for the thumb drive. Uh, please do not use any thumb drive or the hard disk that is formatted as NTFS as they do not work with uh, any uh, any system other than the Windows system. So for this recorder, you have to use the FAT32 format. So right now, I just plug in to the backend USB port. So plug in, and then on your recorder, you click on the detect button. Okay, so now it's detecting the USB disk. So make sure it's checked at the corner and then you press on the back out button. And then right now it's asking what timing do I want to back out. So let's assume uh, what timing do I want to back out. Just give me a while. Ah, let's see. So right now it's uh seven twenty nineteen twenty seven. So we right click, we go to the main menu, and then we go to record. Uh, the backup. Detect backup, and then from here, uh, we can choose add. And then right now it will show you the files that are here. Yeah, you can choose which file you want, which file you don't want. Let's assume I want the 1906 to 1918 file. So I unclick all those others. And then right now it's showing the required size. Or required size is 1900, uh, sorry, uh, 190 MB. Uh, over uh, 3.84 GB. So back out format, you can choose AVI or H.264. So for me, I will back out as AVI. AVI is a universal format that you can play back on majority of video player like Windows Media Player, VLC Media Player, KM Media Player. So I will choose this. If you choose H.264 radio, you will back out as H.264 file, which can only be open with the, re the recorders uh, software so for each of us I will back out as AVI first and then I press on the start button and then there will be a progress bar and the remaining timing so back out have finished if you want to uh, remove the thumb drive to view on computer, you can just remove it like this.